Hello everyone, this is Liz. Nice to see you again. Today I will share with you how to use a gradient image to control the color or even the light source of an image. Let's get started. First, let's see how to use it. You can change any gradient map. For example, I change to this green one. Then you can generate something like this. When I change to blue gradient, I get the similar result. When you make a very bright point on the gradient image, then it will turn to be the light source of the final result. Now I move the bright point to the right. The light source is also changed. Now let's see how it works. Here is a image to image workflow. I change the checkpoint to ref animated. Here I write portrait, a girl, blue hair, white shirt. Here I use an embedding, fast and active. Now I load an image. If I just use the image to create a picture, you can see the gradient map is too strong. Now I can't control how strong it will be. I will add two nodes. One is empty latent image. Another is latent blend. Just blend these two latent image. One is empty. Another is this gradient picture. And the blend factor is 0.5. Give it to the latent image of the key sampler. Add a VA decoder. Preview the image. The blend factor is now 0.5. That means it lower half the weight of the gradient image. The lower the number is, the less impact will be put on to the final image. The higher the number, the stronger the color will influence the final image. And the latent image should be the same size as the final image. Choose another gradient image. Lower the weight. You can also adjust the denoise strength. Let's try this one with a light source and another one also with the light source. That's all for today. If you like my video, please leave me a like and a subscribe. See you!